Hi, today we visit Louisville, Kentucky. And the thing about this city is I was real familiar with Lexington because my son went to college there and graduated. And uh, I had heard for years about the Kentucky Derby and I'd seen video clips of it, but I had never been to Louisville. Now, Louisville is known for bourbon. Um, so you'll see some beautiful bourbon uh, bottles in this hotel. We stayed at the Seabock Hotel and I'll give you a little bit of history about this his, uh, historical uh, hotel because it's a beautiful, elegant, uh, uh, historical hotel and we enjoyed our stay there. You can see the bourbon bottles, they're placed uh, throughout the hotel. It's just such an interesting display to see those. The Seabock Hotel, uh, it was such a neat place to explore. So we spent a lot of time just walking around. Uh, we arrived on a Friday evening and we also walked downtown uh, for a little bit to see some of the sites. Now, um, it is a grand luxury hotel. It's in downtown Louisville and it's uh, centrally located so you can get around if you don't have transportation. It's on the National Register of Historical Places. Uh, it was built by two Bavarian brothers who began construction in 1903 and uh, actually it opened in 1905. Now they had run restaurants and men's clubs for many years and then uh, they built uh, this hotel property. It was a place where many artists and dignitaries stayed when they came to Louisville. Now, they spared no expense uh, during construction. They used marble from all over the world, bronze from France, hardwood from the West Indies and Europe, and linens from Ireland, Persian rugs from Turkey. It was billed as the only fireproof hotel in the city when it opened in 1905, and over 25,000 people visited during the open days, opening day. Um, films such as The Great Gatsby and uh, The Hustle, uh, some of the scenes were filmed there as well. Now we're right down the street, actually about a block from the Seabock Hotel. For a Friday night, you can hear kind of maybe in our comments, it was kind of surprising because um, there weren't a lot of people out, very many people out uh, But there was one country western establishment that seemed to have a lot of people enjoying that. Now we're headed to the 21C Museum. It is a museum in downtown Louisville, um, the first museum hotel. It's a boutique hotel that has 91 rooms. The Red Penguin is kind of their trademark thing. You'll see that as we walk into the hotel. You'll see outside the hotel, above the door, this Red Penguin, and then also you will see inside in the gift shop, you can buy those red penguins. Um, I'm really not sure what the significance of the red penguin is. I do need to find that out for sure. Um, also on the corner of this museum, as we leave headed towards the Muhammad Ali Museum, you will see um, a replica of the David um, statue is 30 feet tall uh, that Michelangelo, the David uh, statue that Michelangelo did. It is huge. It's 30 foot tall, but it's, it's actually a replica. Um, and uh, this museum is, is uh, 9,000 square feet of exhibition uh, space.
block away. Where? Now we're headed to the Muhammad Ali Museum. And I really enjoy this museum. I've been to museums in South Africa. I've been to museums in Europe. Uh, I've been to museums, of course, in Washington, D.C. and all over the United States. But there was something about this museum that I just really enjoyed. And um, I don't even like boxing, so that's saying something. And then a side note, uh, kind of one of the things I thought was just a little humorous was that I saw a museum uh, advertised that said the Frazier Museum and in my mind I was thinking of George Frazier like oh my goodness they have a Muhammad Ali Museum and they have a George Frazier Museum and we need to probably go see that one as well but again remember I don't even like boxing I don't like the violence of it and um but this museum I don't know what it was about it that I enjoyed uh I think there's four or five floors at least I didn't even get to all the exhibits but I loved his story Muhammad Ali because even if maybe you didn't like his brashness and some of the stances that he took, I liked the courage that he had to take those stances. I liked the courage that it would have taken to get into those um, rings and fight people, you know, to make a living for your family. And um, again, like I say, I don't like boxing. Uh, so it's kind of interesting that I would go to a boxing museum. But I think this museum, me personally, is a best um museum one that you just have to see I, I just really enjoyed it from the interactive exhibits there's a exhibit where his daughter teaches you some key uh, techniques to boxing there's a um the, the ball thing that you hit with your hand the boxing bag kind of thing that i've seen boxers use uh it's just really interesting it talks about the history of the time when he uh, refused to fight in the, I think it was the Vietnam War and why his rationale for doing that and what he lost as a result of making that decision um, not to fight. Um, and then the racism that existed during that time, you know, what he had to overcome. So I really just thought it was creatively um, presented. It was colorful, it was engaging, and I would in encourage you to see this museum if you happen to get uh, to Louisville. So I can't end this video without talking about the food. We ate at Kalen's restaurant um, for, we got cheeseburgers and uh, meatloaf. It was so good, so fresh, just just you can see the pictures it was just so good and then we ended the evening um with ice cream from the louisville cream restaurant to be quite honest with you i was too full but i had to have a scoop of chocolate ice cream i couldn't let the trip go by without trying their ice cream because it was on our stop our places to visit list so when you go to louisville make sure you try the food they have great food there and to be quite honest with you, we ate so much. It seems like we were eating the whole time because we were just there for, you know, two nights. But make sure you stop by the Louisville Cream to get you some dessert next time you're in Louisville.